Welcome to the Your Home Renewed podcast. My name is Jen. And I'm Trent. And today we are continuing with our How to Love Your Home podcast series. And today we're going to be talking about how cleaning can help you love your home. Uh, So we're going to talk about how to keep your home clean and clutter free. And then later we're going to have some, a few tips Mm -hmm. to pass along that have helped us. So stay tuned uh, for those at the, uh, toward the end of the P cast. Three, two, one. I disappeared. Did you really think that that would work? (laughs) It did work. Did you see it? Oh, when you watch this video. Oh, it'll when happen. you watch it on YouTube's, it'll uh, you'll see that I actually it's called I, the YouTube's. I literally disappeared. I literally, literally. disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you love your home? I do love my home, but you don't love it when it's dirty. No, I don't. Now, here's the one thing though: I am a master of disguise because mm. I'm very, very good at keeping the home straight. Dust bunnies, I mean, have you seen under our dresser? Yeah. I went walked up the top of the steps last night and yeah. I saw all those dust bunnies. Yeah, we under. don't need a dog. We've got enough <laughs> shedding going on right here. It's true. It's pretty it's bad. It's true. So I'm, I am not the best at keeping it clean, but I am very good at making sure that it is straight simply mm-hmm. because I don't like clutter. I've mm-hmm. been known, I think we mentioned this in the first podcast, it is not unusual for me in the middle of any sort of family activity, a game, yeah. or a movie. Pause and, it. <laughs> I got to clean this now. Because I can't enjoy myself. I find myself just only focusing about that clutter, and it's just like, let me just take a moment, hurry and get that out of the way, so that way I can actually enjoy whatever we are doing. So we're moment. actually in the process, really, of learning how to do this ourselves. Yes. Because... There's too many mad dashes to get things clean, so we should probably listen. What list. are you talking about? I'm going to have to watch this once a week for the next <laughs> 10 weeks to really drive what we're talking about home. Well, so we wanted to discuss how cleaning your home can help you find ways to actually love your home. So in the first episode, we talked about focusing on what is good in your home, counting your blessings for what you have. In the second series, we talked about... um, What you can control. What you can control. Some things you can't. Which is sometimes admitting and accepting and embracing the fact that you can't control or Mm -hmm. you really don't have control over anything. So today, the goal is how to keep it clean and clutter-free and how that practice Mm -hmm. will help you love your home. Yeah. And that is something you can control is keeping it clutter free and clean. Mm -hmm. Well, the number one thing Mm -hmm. we're right on the tail end of the pandemic. I mean, I hardly hear Mm -hmm. anything about the pandemic anymore, but during the pandemic, everybody, what was gone, we couldn't find paper towels and toilet paper and cleaning supplies and Lysol because everybody knew that keeping your home clean Mm -hmm. kept your family healthy. And the outside of potato chip bags have never been cleaner. (laughs) Please tell me that we were not the only ones disinfecting our groceries before we brought them into the house because we did that for... That was really early on where everybody thought, I mean, if you just look at the COVID virus, you would get it, you know? Yeah, we had no idea. But, you know, I think that regular cleaning does help. It, it helps with multiple things on keeping you healthy. It can help um, seasonal allergies. So if, you know, you are people who like to keep your windows open, but you're allergic to pollen, you are letting that pollen in your home. And so suddenly now you have an allergy attack. Now, I, we don't keep our windows open. I never want my windows open just because... We suffer from allergies so bad. I like keeping the outside out. That's right. And the inside in. Inside in. What What you doing? (laughs) I'm just side down. down. Boy, Boy, you you turn turn me inside out. Round and round. round. I don't know why. We said inside, outside, but I suddenly started singing Diana Ross. (laughs) You caught right on. I mean, I just was barely I just started grooving. Once I see groove happen, I go. (laughs) You were locked in. See, that's why I have a drum head shirt on. That's right, because you are a drum head. Because I'm a drum head, a dumb head. (laughs) Uh, 
you know, they tell us to wash our hands all the time to keep mm-hmm. the germs off of them. So probably should wash some surfaces around your house That's for right. the same reason. So That's it's right. a pretty simple task to do. I think it's pretty, you know, yeah. cleaning 101. Yeah. We know that. But, you know, something else that we may not think about is that by keeping your home clean, you actually can save money mm. because you will have your eyes on items that may need repairs. Mm. Versus forgetting about them and then suddenly, oh my gosh, I did not know that we had a hole in our floor. Hmm. <laughs> We've mopped so hard <laughs> that there's a hole in the floor. I don't know. I'm trying to think of something. Stop mopping so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just was thinking of that. Well, okay, so let's think of something else. Not a hole right. in the floor. but Sweeping a hole in the floor. <laughs> <laughs> but if you, you know, vacuum your... Um, Refrigerator coils mm. regularly, that will actually help. <laughs> <laughs> you know funny? how my mind goes. You start, well, you said vacuuming your refrigerator, and that's where I stopped. I mean, you went with the coal, coils, coils, refrigerator coils, but I was just going, oh, vacuuming your fridge. And you're just like in there, like opening the door, and grapes are getting sucked up. And <laughs> that just struck me as kind of stupid and your funny. Your brain is funny. It don't work right. Okay, but vacuuming the coils mm, on your refrigerator. That's not as funny. It's not as funny. But it does. It would help you. That's it the helps. airflow. It, <laughs> <laughs> this the is a visual. Signal. So for anyone yeah. who's listening. You should not be just podcasting this. No. You should definitely check it out on the tubes tubes. <laughs> but it does help your refrigerator run yeah. more efficiently. So thus you would save money because your refrigerator doesn't burn out yeah. and suddenly you have to replace it. You remember it. the old uh, crank call when you would call people and say, hey, is your refrigerator running? <laughs> and they're like, yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should. Yeah, anyway. You said that um, cleaning your house uh, and cleaning uh, certain things like the coils can Mm -hmm. save you money in the long run. uh, Cleaning your house can actually make you money. Do you know how? No. Because you find those coins in the couch. And I mean, we're talking like cents. See, that's why I always volunteer to do the laundry because then I get eight cents. Yeah. Eight cents per load that you're making. But then the Tide Pod <laughs> is at least fifty-eight cents, probably. So you're okay. You're at a loss, no matter what. Mm. <laughs> well, okay. So what is another way how maintaining and cleaning your home can save or make you money? Can save or make you money? Uh, well, I mean, saving and not having to spend on something—that's right. kind of the same thing. That's right. But in a way, that is making you money. Um, I don't know. I don't either. Yeah. I don't know how you could make money. Maybe you could tell us how to make money. Yeah. Uh, hey, what if somebody came to your house to take pictures and your house is clean and they pay you to use the inside of your house? There is a company out there that does that. Yeah. You could put, so commercials, yeah. movies, yeah. Um, well, people, s- student film projects. Yeah. You can put it up on this website and say, the, and you post photos and say, this yeah. is an example of my home. You can come and rent my home for a a day for this flat fee. So keep your house clean, people, and they will pay money to come inside of it and take pictures and commercials. Why have we not signed up for that? We need to sign up for that. Do they know that we actually sit like this all the time at the house (laughs) and just talk (laughs) near microphones? We don't ever look at each other. We're always at the side going, hey, Hello. Huh. Hey, can you pass me the salt? Why oh, wait, don't don't pass me the salt. Pass me the pepper. <laughs> um, <laughs> You're a goofball. No. Okay, so something else that um, how cleaning can help. I think it would help you save time. So how? that's another thing you can save. How so you, you save, save money, time? save time, hmm. because you won't be wasting time because you've put off those tasks and now the task that you have to do is a mountain now it's a bigger task it's a huge task which then takes more so time so you're saying that if you procrastinate mm-hmm. you're actually creating a time problem in the future that's right and that's why we came up with well i think i read it, an article about it mm. called the touch it once rule mm. so the concept behind this is that once you return home 
I mean, I'm really bad. Kick the shoes off, drop the purse and the coat and throw the mail and keys on the counter and then... The wig, everything <laughs> goes. Earrings. The nails, <laughs> the nails come off. <laughs> No. Or if you're like the dad and the Goldbergs, the pants just come right down. <laughs> I'm home. Give me my chair. But, yeah. <laughs> well, I think the idea is once you come home, don't just throw your jacket on the back of the chair. Actually go and hang it up. Hmm. Find a spot where your keys go all the time. If you have mail in your hands, put the mail where it needs to go, where you will you know, actually sort through it. And better yet, go ahead and before you set the mail down, go ahead and get rid of all of the junk mail that you're going to throw away. Anyway. That's right, yeah. So it's just the touch at once. So if you have something in your hand, don't set it on the counter and come back to it 20 minutes later because then you're just creating more work for yourself. So I read that once uh, on the web, on the Enter World Wide Webs mm -hmm. a few years ago, and I just thought that was brilliant. Yeah. And so we've been trying to institute that in our home. It's not perfect. We're still kind of learning. I'm not very good at it, but I am learning. I you am are learning. learning. I'm really trying to think about that That's every right. day. We actually implemented that this morning when we uh, took some tools from the garage down to the workout room. That's right. And tightened one of the machines that was a little wobbly. Yes. And uh, typically those might. And so we went and put the uh, tools back on the step to remind ourselves when we go back upstairs to take them to the garage. Mm -hmm. um, now, there have been many a times where those tools just live on the steps for a couple of weeks. <laughs> And you just walk past them and go, hey, look, there's those can't, tools. You can't forget. To I'm going to remember to take those to out. out to the garage. But this morning, we literally did. We, we grabbed them and took them to the garage. That's but right. you know what? I need them back into that room <laughs> again. So see, sometimes you need to leave them out in the That's room. Right. So another way that it can keep you from wasting time is by keeping it clutter-free. Hmm. Because clutter creates stress. Clutter equals chaos. Yes. And stress equals frenzy. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly you might be panicking to try to get something done. Mm. You break something in the process. Oh, yeah. Or And then now you have to waste that time because now you've broken something and you've got to clean it up. Yeah. You know, so it's... it, it That can pile on. That's right. I do that a lot where I... I put something in a pile to say, I'm going to clean that up in a little bit. And yeah. then a little bit turns into a week, a week. or longer. Yeah. And so I think... Or, or like if we've been in project mode, we will say, okay, well, let's move this to this room. And that's a room that we don't really utilize. Yeah. And then we forget about it. And then suddenly you go back into that room two weeks later saying, oh. Oh, this is where everything is. <laughs> I've been looking for the child. So... <laughs> <laughs> Where did he go? Oh, I haven't man. seen Bobby in weeks. <laughs> Where's Bobby? <laughs> Bobby's in the behind all the the bags of mulch and why are we bringing mulch inside? <laughs> Don't bring mulch inside. That'll dirty your house. So leaving it in a pile like that doesn't help at all mm -hmm. to get to later. Should probably go ahead and clean it up then because then yes, at the end of it all. Now there's too many piles. That's right. And it's just too heavy. And hectic. you have to deal with all of yeah. that. And it causes stress. Yeah, nobody wants that. Keeping your house clean, I think, actually promotes better sleep. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I read an article that recently said that if your bedroom is tidy, that you actually get a better night of sleep. Hmm. I believe it. I mean, it's kind of the same concept. I, mean, I know where you're going. Okay, wait. Three, two, one. Make Making your bed, bed last, last minute. minute. <laughs> you totally just read my lips and copied that me. That was not what I was thinking. It was the bed, though. <laughs> uh, I worked for a fella who could really do that before. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I can pretty much say whatever you're saying. One word at a time story. Um, <laughs> no, um... I was going to say, uh, sleeping, uh, I did my own study that sleeping in a made bed equals better sleep. <laughs> Nothing like going to your own bed. This uh, 1%, 100% of me has slept better 
in a made bed. Because, you know, when you get into a bed that hasn't been made and your footsies get outside of that <laughs> because the blanket's up or something. And, right. You know, but if you've tucked it in and everything's clean, you get in that bed, ah, oh, it's so nice. Well, what I was going to say is there have been times where like in our early married days or when we had kids and they were younger and we didn't make our bed and it was maybe about an hour before we were going to go to bed, mm-hmm. I made the bed. Made because, the bed just like at an hour before going to bed. Because it feels better to get into a made bed. <laughs> it feels better. It feels, it feels better. better. My Birmingham is coming out. <laughs> yeah, you've been here too long now. Been here too long. I need to, need to read a book. I know. <laughs> That is so not true. Yeah. All right, let's introduce the next one, but I'm going to say it with whatever you say. Oh, <laughs> I can't do you it can't without do it laughing. without laughing. I know we so finish each other's sentences. <laughs> another, another way, way that you to can you keep can your home, home <laughs> <laughs> clean, clean and clutter, and clutter free. free. <laughs> Another tip in finding happiness in your home by cleaning is the benefit of keeping pests away. Hmm. Because if you have a lot of food, suddenly little rodents. Yeah. Do you remember the mouse at Maynard? Yes. Ran across the kitchen floor uh, very unexpectedly. I think that's why that dog ended up not liking us. Uh, I think it, I think it we is. We had a puppy and mm-hmm. she was cute. She was sweet, but she did not like us. Yeah. And no matter what we tried, and we even took her to the vet trying to figure out, and he just said, you know, some dogs just aren't people pets. People pets. Pets peoples. Pets peoples. I'm not sure how that would mm, phrase is. Nah. But basically, some dogs just don't like people. Yeah. And she just definitely did not like Especially us. Especially when I we're feel screaming like it, at a mouse. <laughs> she, we found her. She was trembling because she yeah. didn't understand what was going on because it yeah. was chaos. I mean, mm. we suddenly are... We were working in the kitchen. We were raising up the kitchen cabinets, or we were doing something, removing yeah. t- a tile. Yeah, backslash. there was something going on. But and then suddenly you hear this, tick, 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 and a, oh. yeah, I think there was a lot of drool out of that dog's mouth. Like, <laughs> I can't even take all this. Yeah, it was horrible. Yeah, and we loved her and tried yeah. to get her to mm. calm down, but never happened. Nope. Um, but yeah, and uh, roaches too. Nobody wants oh, roaches no. crawling around the house, and no. and. Um, Especially when we live around some woods, so there are lots of fat, nasty roaches. Huge. Alabama. Outdoor roaches. Alabama roaches that come in. And so, mm-hmm. yeah, we it's good. You clutter clutter and uh, cardboard boxes. They like to climb yeah. in those, you know. And Well, and you're really good um, like at least two or three times a year. We do our own pest control, mm-hmm. and we found some really great stuff. Got a size 12 Amazon. shoe. <laughs> <laughs> No, but we found some great stuff on Amazon that you put into one of the pump sprayers and Mm -hmm. spray it around the house. And I can actually put a link to what we use in the... um, It's called Bug Pocalypse. No, it's not. I don't know. Isn't it called Demon or something? Yeah, it's got a killer name. (laughs) Yes. What you doing, honey? Putting the demon out. (laughs) Hey, as long as it keeps the spiders away. You know that was in our marriage vows. That's right. I kill kill all the spiders. Hmm. Yeah, you have to do that. This one is probably your nemesis. Okay. In a surprise company coming over. Uh, and right in the middle, every time oh, that yeah. you you have your piles that you're going to get to, yeah. that's when companies like, hey, we're coming over. We're like the street over. Is your street called blah, blah, blah Avenue? No, it's not called blah, blah, blah Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, they're usually the street over. Yeah. And they're going, Last hey, minute. we're coming in. And you're thinking, oh, oh, man. And you do what Jeff Foxworthy called the flight of the bumblebee <laughs> cleanup. And you're just shoving stuff. And then you're like, don't open. He said, don't open that closet door or everything's <laughs> going to come out. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's true. Uh, it is the truth. But, yeah, I mean, that is that is a big stress of mine. I wouldn't mind talking about that in, our, in a, a totally different podcast episode mm-hmm. addressing – why we need to kind of drop that, that yeah. need to please. Yeah. But if you if it makes you an unhappy host, mm-hmm. 
then that would make you feel like, oh, I just don't love my home because it's yeah. always clutter free and I don't yeah. ever want to invite anyone over. So suddenly yeah. now you're shutting people out of your life and you're not having dinner parties. And yeah. so, I mean, there there is that element. So if you are a person who likes to host, then the benefits of cleaning your home can help yeah. help you to love your home. Well, and it's not like you're trying to impress them, like look at this beautiful palace, but... Uh, you also don't want them to go, man, look at these slobs. <laughs> they just got piles of pizza boxes everywhere. They're going to feed me. They're gonna, yeah, they're going to feed me. <laughs> yeah. So, but, you know, like you said, I think there's something to say about if we like whoever we're going to go see, if I saw a pile of pizza boxes, I'm not going to think anything of them. I would never think that, but yeah. why do we I'd put think, that man, pressure? they like a lot of pizza. <laughs> But why would we put that pressure on ourselves to make yeah. sure that it's presented in such a because way? Because we're idiots. And then if someone does stop by unexpectedly, uh, I'm apologizing yeah. all the yeah. time. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry, my house. And they're probably going, uh, I didn't come over here to see your house. Came to see you. Exactly. So. What would be another tip that we could share? Well, we're kind of a good team. Yes. So tag team cleaning Ooh. Uh, is a very good Yeah. And practice. get everyone involved. Yep. I mean, because we hate to do yard work. Mm-hmm. We just really, oh, yeah. we are not yeah. green thumbs mm-hmm. at all. But when we get the boys out there and all four of us tackle the yard, we mm-hmm. get all of the stuff we hate it to go, do. It goes faster. Mm-hmm. And you kind of have fun. fun put with on it. music. Put on music and stuff. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, in, in delegating tasks and go, hey, if you'll clean all the toilets... I will clean all the showers or whatever. Well, and I think that that part of tag team cleaning can actually help strengthen relationships. Mm -hmm. So if you have um, someone in the family who feels like all of the work falls on their shoulders, Mm -hmm. then think about how that can improve a marriage or even a roommate, Mm -hmm. you know, relationship where all of the work doesn't fall on that one person. It actually is shared equally, and then that can build that bond That much better. Yeah. Well, and if it happens to be where you don't have another person that can help you, mm-hmm. then I still think you can delegate tasks, and maybe that's a situation where you would write down the things that need to be that's clean right. and just check them off as they get done. Yeah. So another tip would be to assemble a cleaning caddy. Oh, that's a great tip. Keep it in the same place. You can take it with you where you go. Yeah, it's got all your stuff, your rags, mm-hmm. everything. Maybe there's two caddies. Maybe you have a cleaning closet yeah. where like the vacuum cleaner sits and mm-hmm. lives. And so that way everyone in the house yeah. who, you know, is tag teaming to yeah. help you clean and the house. You've delegated, you get the brooms, you get the mops, I'll That's get the right. cleaning caddy and we all go and here we go. So and it's all in one place. Everybody yeah. knows, especially it, if there's a big mess and hey, where's the... Because you know. let's get real. I mean, you're going to be in the middle of stress when you're cleaning <laughs> anyway. So it'd be better to have all your pine saw in one spot. Of course. And then what happens when it is just just too much to handle at all? You just might have to call a cleaning service. Well, and that's something that we did a few years ago. We had someone come once a month mm-hmm. because we were just in such a busy season and the house just continued to get mm-hmm. neglected. And I was under just so much stress. And you I- just waved the white cleaning rag. <laughs> Like I can't do this. I mean, if you would have if you would have waved it and just a little higher, you could have gotten the gotten the ceiling, <laughs> the ceiling fan. fan blades. Well, I don't think that there's anything wrong. I mean, if I had the budget mm-hmm. to have a weekly house cleaner, I would have someone clean my house yeah. every week. Yeah, every that is day. definitely <laughs> just come on in, get it up. That's definitely a luxury to yeah. have. And that did help us in that season. So hopefully maybe we could get back to that one day. Who knows? So there's several whys behind the DIY cleanup. Oh, Um, I saw what you did there. Yeah, turn of a phrase. Uh, Because not only will you keep your home clean, Mm -hmm. but you'll kind of have a clean mind and a clean body. You won't eat out so much because right. you're not thinking, oh, it's just a mess. Let's call it well, a pizza. Well, and how many times in the middle of projects have we either forgotten to purchase food, mm-hmm. forgotten to get the purchase food out of the freezer mm-hmm. to prepare for meals, yeah. and here we're in project mode and it's yeah. dinner time, and we're like, oh, well, let's just go grab something. Mm-hmm. So that that's one the, a benefit where you, you will actually make healthier food choices yeah. 
because you'll have a clean home, mm-hmm. you will be eager to cook, and then be able to prepare yeah. in a nice, clean space. And I think the uh, mental aspect of that is nice because right. once your home is clean, you just feel good. You feel a little bit more at peace. Yeah. And you're always going to have something stressful going on each mm-hmm. week. Um, but then if you don't have to have your house on top of that, a, a dirty house That's right. bearing down on your mind, it's, it's, a, it's a one easy way. Yeah. Touching everything once and being mm-hmm. proactive a little bit, you'll relieve, uh, you will alleviate some stress. Well, and then you'll have guilt-free pajama days. Mm. If you just want to ha- be in a, your pajamas all day yep. and sit and binge movies, y- yep. you're not going to be sitting there going, well, I probably really should yeah. be tackling that one thing. That's right. It's like you can actually enjoy Joy. your home. Instead of thinking, I've got such a mm-hmm. junky house right now. I don't need to be doing this. Okay, and- so what is the the all in all, sum it all up of how cleaning your home can actually help you love it more? Well, sometimes you may not have the budget to do renovations. Right. So we can do this. We can clean a little bit. That's right. And spiffy the place up, Mm -hmm. and it'll just make us feel better. And even though we have to put the things off of, of painting or fixing something up or redecorating or something, it's clean. That's right. And it'll feel fresh and smell fresh. Right. And uh, I think that's a good thing. I think that it's something that's attainable mm-hmm. in other areas where, like you said, some DIYs are not attainable. Mm-hmm. But the, this is something that you can. I think this could tie into our previous episode Mm -hmm. of something that you can control by keeping it clean. So thanks so much for tuning in to another episode. We hope that you have enjoyed this How to Love Your Home series. We've got one more episode coming up, so make sure to tune in next week. And always, we want to hear from you. We want your feedback. So if you have a show idea or if you have your own dilemma, please leave us a question in the comment section. We want to hear from you, and we want to be here to help out. So thanks again for tuning in, and we hope that you all have a great week. Now get to cleaning.